So we could give that to we'll Father George. Want, want, right, I'll give that to Father George. Sir, this is a working microphone. <laughs> Try to get that working there. Yeah, I only have the key. We don't know. We don't know if we can get this to work. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you just tell us? One, one, two. that microphone there for you to okay. use. Right. I can put this up in the pulpit for you to use. Or today. I can I can speak from here if you want to speak from here. Where do you put that? Sorry? Where do you put that? Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'll just swap the. Uh, Can we turn it off while I'm. Thank you. Two, the first one, as with gladness. Yeah. Uh, 
Blessings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace has dawned upon the world through our Savior Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself for us to purify a people as his own. Let us therefore confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Let us all confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor in thought and word and deed. Through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant us, grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw us to himself, cleanse us from all our sins, that we may behold the glory of his Son, word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. 
Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let's take a few moments of silence. Let's pray to collect for the Feast of Epiphany. O oh God, who by leading of a star manifested your Son to the peoples of the earth, mercifully grant that we who know you by faith may at last behold your glory face to face through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior, Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now we'll hear the first reading, Ephesians chapter 3, verses 1 to 12. This is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles. For surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given to me for you, and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I wrote, about, uh, uh, wrote above in a few words, a reading of which will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to mankind, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sharers in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given to me by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of his saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ and to make everyone see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things. So that through the church, the wisdom of God in its rich variety might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. This is the word of the Lord.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We have seen his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. Hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. In, in the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea. For so is, has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are you no mean, uh, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star has, had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, uh, they heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasures, chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the Gospel of the Lord. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. I want to bring greetings for the new year from the Sinai Marthoma Church. It is indeed a joy to see you all. Today we celebrate the Feast of Epiphany. Epiphany is the manifestation of Christ to the Gentiles as represented by the Magi, the three wise men. As a student of theology in Wycliffe College, Toronto, Canada, the first sermon I have preached in an Anglican church was based on Matthew chapter 2, verse 12. They went back to their own country by another road. Today I am standing in the All Saints, Mark, uh, All Saints Church in Harrow, Weald of London, UK. Today for our brief meditation, let us look at this passage. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 12, which was read as the gospel. The title that I like is this passage as a journey of life. Journey, a journey of discovery. It is usually said that the longest journey on earth, you may be wondering, what is the longest journey on earth? The longest journey on earth is a journey from head to heart. Only this much. A journey from head to heart. Let us take a journey with the Magi, these three wise men from the East. What did they see? Number one. 
they saw a star in the sky. This star was very special among other stars in the starry sky. This star gave them a message and they had to see the story behind this new star. This star became the guiding star for them, for these three wise men to lead them to the place where the king or the messiah was born. They were, of course, stargazers, but they soon became star hunters. They were on the run. They saw a star in the sky. Secondly, they saw the glitter and glamour of Herod's palace. They were, quote unquote, wise men on a journey following the guiding star. How did they end up in Herod's palace? Either they lost track of the star or they used their own wisdom to calculate the goal. They started searching for Jesus of their own imagination. Yes, they were hosted by the ruler with great delight and pomp. Jesus was not there in the palace. They saw the glitter and the glamour of Herod's palace. Thirdly, they saw the baby Jesus in Bethlehem at last. This involved catching new vision of the same old guiding star. They recaptured the vision. This involved leaving aside their imagination of the Jesus born as the king. Herod did not go with them. Watch this. Herod did not go with them. He could smell threat of his kingdom and his power. Herod wanted to sponsor this journey to find the baby Jesus. Great idea, isn't it? Three wise men followed the star and came to the place where Jesus was born. Verse 11, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. This was a sigh of relief for these three wise men after this long and tedious journey. They saw Jesus. They saw the king. They saw the Messiah. It was not a trip to see a great person, but a journey to see the creator of the universe. Look at their responses. They knelt down and paid him homage. They worshipped him in those humble surroundings. They transformed that place into a sacramental space. They saw on the face of Jesus' child the full glory of God. More and more, they opened the treasure chest and offered him gifts gold, frankincense, and myrrh. It was to honor the king. They have completed a journey from head to heart. What they saw on the face of this child transformed their life and changed their plans. They were not able to return the same way they have come. They returned to their own country as changed persons. They did not go back to Herod. This is the true freedom which Christ gives us. Let us, in the new year, live out this transformed life. Ever keep the glory of God leading our ways and leading us to eternity. Amen. Let us affirm our faith 
in the creed, words of the creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who, is, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into the de to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now it's time for intercession. Let us pray. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Holy God, you sent a star to guide the wise men to worship your Son, Jesus Christ. We humbly ask that you would send your Holy Spirit to guide your church and all its people as we journey together to begin this new year in our Christian lives. Lord, inspire your church leaders, Justin of Canterbury and Stephen of York, and our diocesan bishops, Sarah and Lisa. Guide them in your wisdom in all they do for your church. Lord, grant to Christians everywhere the spirit of adoration that through their worship and lives, they may reflect the glorious light of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, we humbly ask that in our divided and fragmented world, as we face the unknown in this coming year, that all Christians, and people of goodwill may come to know reconciliation and fraternity. Let the star of your justice shine in all our hearts, that all may share the values of peace and understanding of the common good in all of your people. Lord, in this difficult and painful time, where your world has been suffering with the pandemic, may you open the hearts of all your world leaders that they would know that in your eyes all people are equal and loved by you and reflect this in the sharing of the vaccines, knowing no one nation is more worthy than another. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Loving God, we humbly ask your blessing on all who suffer in body, mind or spirit. May they know the comfort of your presence surrounding them. Give them strength to endure and your peace to know that your son understood the truth of human suffering. We pray for all on our church prayer list. And in a moment of silence, we pray for those known only to ourselves. Lord, we give you our praise and gratitude for the gift of all caregivers during this time of the pandemic. We humbly ask for your blessing on all who are exhausted, working long hours, caring for those in need, wherever they may be working. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we remember before you all those who have departed this life. We pray for the soul of Doug Cowan, and for Jenny, his wife, and family as they mourn their loss. We pray for Christine Hassan and her family, 
who mourn the loss of Anne Hassan. We remember those whose anniversaries fall at this time. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, we humbly ask that you would comfort all who mourn. May your love surround them and turn their darkness into light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, as we journey towards this new year, remind us all of what is truly important and worthwhile. Guide us all to live in the goodness that comes from doing your will. Help us to put aside our anxieties about the future so that we might all live in your peace one day at a time. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our peace. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, everything has become new. The peace of the Lord be always with you. People's gifts, not gold, not frankincense or myrrh, but hearts and voices raised in praise of Jesus Christ, our light and our salvation. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. All honor and praise be yours always and everywhere. Almighty Creator, ever-living God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, for at this time we celebrate your glory made present in our midst. In the coming of the Magi, the King of all the world was revealed to the nations. In the waters of baptism, Jesus was revealed as the Christ, the Savior sent to redeem us. In the water made wine, the new creation was revealed at the wedding feast. Poverty was turned into riches, sorrow into joy. Therefore, with all the angels and he of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember this offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ is, has just died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him who our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in, the, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The body and blood of Christ our Lord.
the bright splendor of whom the nations seek, may we who with the wise men have been drawn to your light discern the glory of your presence in your Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, in these days of mercy, make us quiet and prayerful. In these days of challenge, make us stronger in you. In these days of emptiness, take possession of us. In these days of waiting, open our hearts to the mystery of your cross. Amen. Let's sing the hymn.
God the Father who led the wise men by the shining of a star to find the Christ, the light from light, lead us also in your pilgrimage to find the Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, in the name of, Christ. of Christ. Amen. Amen.